Hey everyone, welcome to Mix It Up Art. Today we are going to be making this hummingbird using watercolor pencils and water. So to get started, you're gonna get a sheet of watercolor paper and I want you to hold it portrait style so that it's longer up and down than it is side to side. For this project, you guys can use whatever colors you wanna use. I'm going to start by just kind of sketching out how I want my hummingbird to look. So I'm just gonna start with the top of the head here. So I'm just doing a curved line. And then the bottom is a little bit straighter, so this is more kind of just like a straight angled line. And its beak will be somewhere in here. And then we're gonna add in a little belly. So we'll curve down and back up. And up here we're gonna have some wings. So starting at the head here, I'm gonna be doing a curved line. It goes out towards the left corner. And I'm going to turn this into almost like a flower petal shape. And I'm gonna do a couple of these and I want them to get a little bit shorter. So I'm gonna do three. So I have a longer one here and then it gets a little shorter and a little shorter. And then I'm gonna do a long one here for the second wing. And don't worry about any mistakes you make. We're gonna be blending this with water so they will get covered up. Okay, so now we're gonna bring it into the tail. So I'm just gonna be doing a straight line down. So this is the general shape here. I'm gonna darken it up so it's easy for you to see if you're drawing along with me. Now what we're gonna do is draw our beak and all we're doing with this is literally just drawing a straight line, a very long straight line that goes towards the corner and that's it. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in some different colors. So I wanna connect it to that black line there and I'm going to be coloring in the face and the body and I'm using um, some pretty firm pressure here. And what I wanna do is blend the colors back and forth. So I'm going to alternate different colors. And just like how we use the pastels where you just kind of go from one color to the next and you color in zigzags so that they blend into each other, this is how I want you to be coloring with this part here. So I'm gonna add in a little bit of pink underneath where I want the eye to be. Then I'll go back to the light blue. So right now I'm using light blue, dark blue, and pink, but you guys can choose whatever colors you wanna use for your hummingbird. So I'm gonna fill up the rest of the body just alternating different colors. All right, so I've used some light blue, some green, some yellow, and some orange for the rest of the body. And then I'm gonna go back to my black for the tail here. So these are gonna be straight lines going from the bottom of the bird, just adding in a little tail here. And I'm gonna add in a little bit of pink over top of that, just where it meets. And we can add in some little feet. So these are gonna be backwards L's. Just do one, two, and then we're gonna add in a little line that kind of angles down. All right, so now we're ready to color in the wings here. I'm gonna be using lots of warm colors for this to kind of brighten it up since I used a lot of cool colors for this section, but I will also be using some blues and purples as well. All right, so what I did here with my colors is I used mostly my warm colors at the bottom going up to about the middle, and then on the edges here is where I use most of my purples and my blues. Now I'm gonna go back to my dark blue and I wanna really separate these wings. So I'm gonna darken up this area here for that first wing and then also for the second one here because now it's kind of blended in. You can't really tell there's two wings here. And I'll also darken up at this bottom part here and a little bit where the wing meets the body. All right, so now we're ready to draw our flower because we have all this open space here. So I'm gonna be using an orange first and I'm going to sketch out the center of the flower. So I'm just gonna be drawing a circle. And from this circle, starting about halfway here, I'm gonna be doing a zigzag line, pressing firm. And I'm gonna color in the inside of that center here, but also over top of that orange because I want that to blend together. So now I'm gonna be doing my petals with a pink and I'm gonna start about where that orange starts with a zigzag line and I'm gonna curve down and I'm gonna do the same thing over here. So here it might go off the paper and that's okay. And then what I'm gonna do is add in 
the petals. So I'm doing like curved lines very similar to what I did up here. They're going to curve in towards the center and then once I get to about the center of the flower that will just curve normally like a petal. And I'll add in a couple shorter ones just on the edge here. So I'm also going to go back and darken it up and then also add in a line in the middle of each petal. And I'm going to go back with some pink and just underneath of that orange I'm going to add a zigzag of pink. So now that I have my flower, I'm just going to add in a stem. All right, so now we are ready to start blending with our water. So you want to make sure that you are cleaning your brush um, with each section that you do. So I'm going to start here and what I'm going to do is blend in kind of a zigzag and circular motion here. I want to push some of the color out past that circle that I drew to give it a little bit of texture. And I'm going to do the same thing, kind of blend it with the orange. So when I'm blending, I'm blending pretty much in the same direction as the way that I drew it. So I'm going down to the edge and then back up. And you want to make sure that you don't forget about blending that stem. All right, now it's time to blend our hummingbird here. I'm gonna start with the beak and I'm gonna show you a technique here. So all you wanna do is just trace over the beak and then as it gets closer to the face, we're just going to add in a little bit of shadow since we kind of blended. So I'm just making it a little wider where it meets the face. And I'm using the black that's already on the beak to add that in. And then I'm just going to continue to blend in the hummingbird and I'm going to be blending in the same direction that I drew it just like I did with the flower. Now because I used warm and cool colors here, some of these colors will mix to make brown if I'm not careful when I'm blending. So I'm starting by just blending the edges here because I use those um, cool colors first and then I'll blend the warm colors into the cool colors. I'm also extending past where I drew as well to again create that soft feathery look since we are painting feathers. Alright so if you need to go back and add in some more colors because you're not happy with the way things blended you can always do that and then just blend again. All right, so once you're done blending, you're going to get your black watercolor pencil again. And what I'm going to do is draw the eye. So I'm going to start by just drawing a circle. And from that circle, I'm going to draw a line that goes from the top and kind of points towards the nose. And I'm going to fill in most of this circle, but I'm going to leave in a little bit of a light source. All right, so that's all there is to it. Um, as always, if you guys make these at home and I don't get to see them in class, please tweet me a picture of them because I want to see your beautiful artwork. And as always, have fun.